Hey, GovCon Giants family, Eric Coffey here, your host of GovConGiants.com and also the GovCon Giants podcast. If you have not visited our podcast, visit iTunes, Spotify, Apple, wherever you get your podcast listening. It's called GovCon Giants. If you have not already taken a listen, we interview the world's top performers in the space of government and federal procurement. We interview them on our show and we highlight their challenges, their struggles, the things that they're doing well, book recommendations, all that and more at our GovCon Giants platform. It's also, you can visit here on our website at GovConGiants.com where you can click on the link for podcast, take a look, visit our podcast, listen to our guests. This is such an underutilized resource. I can't believe so many people have not taken advantage of listening to the podcast. So again, take a look at the podcast, visit it on the website, or again, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you have your podcast listening, on your phone or on any of your devices. Now, today, what we want to discuss is the upcoming bid opportunities for the previous week. We are turning to Beta.Sam. For you who are not familiar, Beta.Sam has replaced the old FBO. I'm sure most of us are aware of that. The problem is, a lot of times, we don't quite know how to use Beta.Sam. So I'm showing you one of the techniques that we talk about and that we teach over at GovCon EDU in terms of how do you use Beta.Sam to get in front of contracting officers, decision makers, and people that can award you your first contract, second contract, or biggest contract. So I'm over here on Beta.Sam.gov. One of the things that I've learned over making the last couple of videos was that you must log in and be registered. So in order to be able to do what I'm teaching, you have to be registered in Beta.Sam. If you're not registered, you will not be able to download the spreadsheet as we discuss an overview here. So again, if you're not logged in, you will not be able to download the spreadsheet. And Beta.Sam, we're here, click award data, we just click search. It populates thousands of results, 827,000 to be exact. And then what we wanna do is I wanna go to contract opportunities, search for contract opportunities, and then I like to look at the past week. And again, I may be doing this quite fast, but I've made several videos of this. So again, we look at the past week. Sorry, that's three days, sorry. Past week, we click the filter button, and then from there, I'll type in type of notice, and I look at sources sought. All right, and it yields me 455 results. From there, we click the download button, and then we can download it. I use the CSV file, we click download, and then the download begins. And when it's finished downloading, what you'll get is a document that looks like this. So I've already downloaded it beforehand, so that way we can get straight into the document and start talking about this week's opportunities. Let's scroll through and look and see if there's anything interesting up here. And then what we'll do, we'll go back into beta.sam and read more about it. I use the spreadsheet to look at all the opportunity in a, in a very easy, quick scroll through format. As you can see here, it's easy to scroll through. This scroll, it literally took me, I don't know, 10, five seconds. On beta.sam, they only allow 10 or 20 search results at a time, and then you click through the whole page and click through the page. So to, to view 455 results could take you hours just clicking through beta.sam. So this is the way that we found it makes it a lot easier, uh, a lot faster, and then that way people can be more efficient with their time. So um, let's go through and look at a couple of these and see if there's anything that stands out that may be of any interest to anyone out there. Um, Bogota, they're doing unmanned aircraft systems, data analytics for multiple domain sites. I know people that do data analytics. I'm going to highlight that. Flight manager training. I know some people out there that may be in that space in terms of flight manager training. Correspondence tracking software. Let's see. IDIQ contract for guardrail services modernization. That's interesting. Common sensor system. Let's take a look at this. I want to take a look just to see. So I copied and paste and then oh we couldn't see it, but I copied and pasted the words here in keyword search, and it pulls up the opportunity. 
let me just grab my screen pull up a little bit so you can see it and then on my screen you'll see what we're talking about this particular opportunity IDIQ contract of services for Garbo modernization Garbo common sensor system so it looks like they're looking for a sensor system uh, for guardrails I'm not quite sure what it does but you could click on here pull up the perform performance work statement it tells you the draft and it shows you the market survey for what you should be responding to let's go back over to our screen and see if there's anything else exciting out there and usually when I do this I usually find about 10 to 12 opportunities that make a lot of sense for people especially and um, with all the people that we're serving now on GovCon EDU it just makes a lot of sense uh, public digital services oh wow this is interesting so this looks like an opportunity and, it, and one of the things I talk about a lot in government contracting is they're not always the way that you want them to appear. Sometimes the opportunities come in the way that government writes it up, which may be counterintuitive, but you have to look through to see if this is in your arena. A lot of people I heard who do uh, marketing, advertising, social media, branding, things like that, public digital services seems like it might fall into that category. We're going to go over here at beta.sam and take a look. I copied and pasted the notice ID I'll show you oh I guess I didn't copy it All right let me get it okay there's the notice ID click return public digital services let's just scroll through and see what they're talking about here development software as a service okay so looking for someone to develop digital engagement services through websites, hosting, and digital asset management functions. They want to store digital assets once with metadata and tap into repository for several purposes. Okay, so this is this is pretty easy, honestly. Um, I know people in our group that can do this kind of stuff. I'm hoping somebody from GovCon Giants is watching. I'm going to just pull it up on the screen here. Let's take a look. RFI. Digital Asset Management. Yeah, we've got a lot of people in our group that can do that. Um, this is pretty easy. What are they asking for? All right, interested parties. Okay, so this is what they want. White paper. All right, that's what we're looking for. White paper, name, mail, and address, recommended strategy, re recommended platforms, advantages, and then your business type, and then facility clearance. So if you don't have a facility clearance, it, it doesn't make sense for you to respond to this. Um, the other thing is that some of you have seen previous video where I discuss some of the do's and don'ts of RFIs and sources side. So in this particular example, they're asking for, uh, let's go back to it. They're actually asking for recommended contracting strategy. And some of the other ones they talk about not to, to recommend a contracting strategy. Uh, so again, it just depends on the particular opportunity that you're looking, the one at hand that you're actually discussing. Let's keep going on and see if we can find something else. This says Vista. Okay, Vista project. Okay. Valet services. Come on, I know people here who do valet services. We've got some unmanned aerial systems, wheelchair services, federal relay services. That reminds me of my boy Miguel did something like that. Oh, that this was a sole source, so you're gonna be able to do it. Uh, Library of Congress. Electronic Visitor Accounting and Analytics System. Oh, come on. We're all my IT people out here. All right, IT people, this is you. Let's take a look and see what we got going on. Where's my IT people? I, we definitely want I want some of my IT people to go after this. I actually have a contract right now with the Library of Congress. Uh, we provided them with some PPE earlier this year. Library of Congress. Electronic people counting camera system is at the end of its life. They're looking for a commercial off-the-shelf solution. Come on. All right. 
this one. All right, this one makes a lot of sense. I'm saving this one. All right, this makes a lot of sense. We're saving that one for some of my people. All right, let's keep going. HVAC duct cleaning. Let's see. Display units, solenoid valves. It looks like I've seen those solenoid valves a lot of times. Medical physicists, for all you genius people out there. Restroom, looks like courtroom, but restoration, boiler controls, lease of office space. <laughs> the USDA is looking for a fruit fly rearing and release facility. Ooh, any of the flight operations building. What else? GSA is looking for 31,000 ABOA warehouse space. I used to remember what that meant, but I can't think of it right now. Uh, Lease some more office space for all your realtors. Make sure you share this content. If you, if you, someone out there that you know who's in these industries, send it to them. Send them this video. Send them this clip. We're we're time stamping all of the videos and clips so that way you can send it to people um let's matter of fact let me be aware of the time okay we're at 11 minutes just being cognizant of the time uh let's see enhanced education services that seems very interesting let's go over and take a look at that Request for information, uh, child and youth programs, education enhancement services. Okay, they're looking for tutors. You see that? That's it. They're looking for tutors for youth programs. So does that does that make sense, to everyone? When I tell you that sometimes uh, what you're looking at doesn't necessarily line up. Uh, this is in New Mexico. So it's how many tutors do you know they're going to be actually looking on a government website? to provide tutoring services. Not many, but I'm sure there are people out here who are in the teaching space, professional space, that know of uh, folks who would be willing to be a tutors, um, and the government would pay, would they, you could contract, they would contract you to pay them to be able to tutors. So um, that makes a lot of sense. Let's keep going. Oh, sorry, I didn't click back on the screen. Let's see. Audio IQ support. Aircraft hangar in Yuma. Handle service agreement for some chillers. Working dog treatment facility over in Eglin. That should be nice. Let's keep going. Snow and ice removal services in Bedford, Virginia. Ambulance services. Oh, this is good. Broad agency announcement stockpile basic research. Hey, look, this might make some sense over here. Let me grab that one. Let's jump back over here. The beta. Let's plug it in and see what this is all about. I want one of my people to get this stuff. Look, I put this out here because I want one of you to win one of these opportunities and come back and share with me your story on how you want it and what you did. Um, research and development. So this is BAA exists right now. All right, they want you to research national defense stockpile research. So let's see, DLA 
and in charge of maintaining worldwide strategic critical material supply chains. Oh, this would be good. I know there's some smart people out here that probably already have done this kind of research, and now the government's going to pay you for the research that you've probably already done. Hey, look, I'm telling you, definitely make sure you're sharing this with somebody out here because it, it makes a lot of sense, and we need to be spreading the wealth. So definitely share this information. Uh, software subscription for Rapid Point 500, drive-in holiday ban and course, <laughs> concert service support. Where's that at? Let me grab that real quick for you guys. I just want to see where that is at so I can kind of tell some folks. Where's your driving holiday band support? Uh, Fort Bragg. Okay. That's in Fort Bragg for those out there who are wondering. You see how I did the information for you? Um, dehumidifiers. Let's go. Give me a couple more. We're, we're only halfway through. I'm going to try to speed this up. I mean, everyone gets the drift. I think if we, we keep, again, reinforcing this and making enough of this type of content, people will start to understand what this means and why they should be doing it. Japan IDIQ. Signage in a hospital. U.S. Forest leasing of office space. Where's my marine biologist, marine species monitoring and research? Okay, where's my marine biologist? I remember friends of mine going to school to study marine biology. But again, they're not here on this website looking for these opportunities, and they're not here necessarily following me. That's what creates the pathway for those of you out here who wanted to get into this space to really make a difference because I'm telling you about this stuff. Wow, instructional design curriculum development. Zuma. I don't know if this is the same opportunity. Let's take a look. But the reason that creates opportunities for people out here who are not paying attention to this, who are not here, who are not watching, it creates you guys can go out and recruit those folks. I'm just sorry, I'm just reading this. Um, I'm going to grab this one and um, save it for Zuma. Uh, but it creates an opportunity for you out here to, to go out there and talk to the people in your sphere of influence that do these types of things uh, and talk to them about the opportunities that exist and then also be able to bring them on board. You are the expert in terms of learning the government contracting space. They are the technical expert in terms of delivering the product and or service that the government's looking for. So it makes for a great relationship, great combination um, to work together. Shipping containers. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. I just realized that the, the time had changed when I woke up this morning. Two earth moving scrapers. Let me tell you something. These those earth moving scrapers. They're huge. That's 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 a lot of money. I don't know who sells earth moving scrapers, but we do have a student who sold um, a snow plow machine. I would definitely like if you knew someone that was in that earth moving scrapers business. That's a lot of money in that. Those things got to be high speed cameras. Those things are huge. Apprentice program. That's interesting. Cadet support services. Come on, give me, give me two more good ones for the folks. Two more, two more. Two more. All right, I'll take one. Community nursing home. All right, hang in there with me, guys. I know half of you have already left by now. I know how the viewership falls off. Hang in with me. We got about one more minute. Design, build, renovate, new building. Apple tree, administrative successful lease. 
Threadbrook Basin, Texas, Stern Ramp Services. Uh, they didn't give me anything good. Uh, real estate acquisition. Let's take a look at this. We'll close out with this. So if you're not into the real estate acquisition, feel free to sign off. Otherwise, I'm going to close out with this. And let's see what the government's trying to buy. Okay, so it says they're looking to lease space. So um, existing office space lease within a 10-mile radius over here in San Jose, California. Um, they're looking for 6,000 square foot usable space. Okay. All right. So all of my realtors out in San Jose, California, or if you are in or around San Jose, California, and your friends in the real estate business, share this opportunity with them, right? Share this opportunity with them. Let them know that this exists. Hey guys, listen, as always, thank you so much. Uh, if you have not already heard about our free course, visit us at govcongiants.com to find out all about our free course, or you can free, visit freegovconcourse.com to learn all about it. We're going to have a link here when we close out in the slides. Thank you so much. As always, it's been a pleasure.